Liebe zu. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Abby and I post weekly videos sharing with you ways to save money and time in the kitchen and other areas of your life. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video. All of these meals today are one dish casseroles and I love them because they are usually easy to throw together and that means they also are easier to clean up because they are in one dish. I will leave a link down below to all of the meals in today's video. I have been loving the premium subscription of Favor Eats app and this is where I've been getting all of my meals for the past month. It has been saving me as being a working mom and it helps me to plan on my meals to see what some of my friends are planning and to get some good ideas for the future. I love how this app shows you how much each meal costs per serving, so it's been great to have to use when I'm meal planning to see how much my meals are gonna cost to fit my weekly budget for groceries. If you are interested, I will link this all down in the description box, but you can use the code Simplified Saver to get 15% off your subscription. The first meal that I'm showing you today was a family favorite. My kids loved this the most. It's basically like regular tater tot casserole, except you're using chicken instead of beef. So this is basically potatoes, bacon, cheese, and chicken. I personally wanted to give this a little bit of a kick and I added Rotel and it was amazing. Um, looking back, I wish I would have added a cream of chicken to be able to hold these ingredients together. It kind of was falling apart when I was eating it, but it definitely didn't take away from the flavor. It tasted amazing, but just for reference, cream of chicken sounds like a really good idea. So I will put that down below in the description box for the meal. And to add some veggies to this meal, I just cooked a side of frozen broccoli and then I ended up cutting up some avocado because my family loves avocado. But you can choose to just eat this meal by itself. But if you wanna add some veggies, just be simple and throw some frozen ones on the stove and your meal is complete.
actually good. <laughs> okay, the second meal was so good. And personally, I've never cooked anything like this meal before, but I ended up loving it. This is chicken cordon bleu casserole, and this is the perfect meal to cook when you have leftover ham after Thanksgiving, okay? It's chicken, ham, broccoli, all together. Top it with some Swiss cheese and some stuffing and it tastes like another version of Thanksgiving. All you need to do is make sure that you are preparing the stuffing according to the instructions on the box, and that's it. It's actually way simpler than it seems. Now, whenever I was done mixing everything, I realized that it wasn't liquidy enough, so I added um, a little bit of heavy cream that I had just sitting in the fridge, but you could also add in like a splash of milk or even another can of cream, and cream of chicken if you needed to. Just eyeball it to see if there's enough liquid or if it seems too dry. All right guys, the next one is teriyaki chicken casserole and this one reminded me of just fried rice but adding chicken and broccoli to it. It was amazing, we mixed all of the ingredients together and I poured a soy sauce mixture on top and it was done, super simple and quick. For the soy sauce mixture, I'm mixing together minced garlic, ground ginger, soy sauce, 
brown sugar and a little bit of water in a pan and you're gonna let it simmer but then you're gonna slowly start pouring in some cornstarch and cornstarch is gonna thicken this up kind of give it like a jelly like texture and then you're gonna let it simmer just a little bit more until the cornstarch um, has dissolved and then you're gonna pour it over what you already have in your casserole dish and this is gonna help it solidify and stick together um, to be more like a traditional casserole before you put it in the oven. All right, y'all, this meal was amazing. Quinoa enchilada casserole. Um, I will leave a link down below on how to cook quinoa in the Instant Pot for those of you who don't know. It's really easy to cook it that way. It saves a lot of time. So check that out if you want to learn how. But this meal was really simple. It's a meatless option. Um, you could add chicken or ground beef if you wanted, but this is also for those of you out there who are vegetarian. It's quinoa, black beans, corn, some green chilies, enchilada sauce, cilantro, and cheese. And you're gonna mix it together, put it in a casserole dish, cook it and then top with more cheese tomatoes and avocado it really turned out good um i just ate it out of the casserole dish you know well not out of the casserole dish but i ate it out of a bowl but you could totally eat this with chips kind of like a dip because it honestly reminded me of five layer dip so give that a try if you'd like So for the last meal, what I did in the morning was throw my chicken in the crock pot and just let it cook on high until the evening and it saved me a lot of time and it also made it really fast to be able to cook and shred for the casserole. So this recipe really reminded me of a chicken and wild rice soup that I had cooked before. It's basically just chicken, celery, onion, carrots all chopped up and you're gonna pour rice and chicken broth on top and throw it in the oven um, into a casserole form instead of a soup form.
so all I'm doing here is cooking my rice according to the box it said I could microwave it on high for a minute in water and it would cook my rice and it did kind of but not all the way so I cooked mine in the microwave and I poured it on top of my casserole dish and mixed everything together really really well but then I ended up pouring you know my chicken broth with it and added a little bit more than the recipe said because I wanted to make sure that there was enough liquid in the casserole dish so that my rice would cook in the oven.